Hello everyone, welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Metal Beast. I don't remember what happened in the last part, because I forgot everything that happened yesterday. I just knew that we fell off a bridge, met a bunch of naked chicks, and we're talking to a sexy lady now. Hey, what's going on? All of a sudden, a sexy lady showed up. She gave Yamagami Sensei a mean look after seeing us on the floor. Explain to me what is going on. What's going on? She looked very pretty, but her voice had authority. She sounded really upset. What, her name is Abuki Sensei. I apologize for the commotion. It's all sorted out now. What do you mean, sorted out? She looked at us with bewilderment. Her eyes were slender and sexy. <laughs> Appa was in heaven just looking at her. What happened here? Well, these boys were acting up again, so I just had to punish them a little. Yamagami Sensei was all smiles. Abuki Sensei, on the other hand, seemed upset. What is this corporal punishment? I guess you can call it that. What do you mean, I guess you can call it that? It was obviously corporal punishment. Well, she's not my boss. She raised her voice. When she was angry, she looked strong and attractive. Hey guys, isn't this the hot teacher that old man from the grocery store mentioned? Oh yeah, that's the one that's going to be my future wife. That's your wife? She's mine! In your dreams, said Dongo. Sensei, Ibuki Sensei, can we have your first name please? Oh. Huh? Oh, my name is Ibuka Mei. I'm a teacher at this academy. Mei. Mei. My Mei. She's not yours. Mei-chan. What a pretty name. They're quite lively. She must have been surprised to see us um, getting all energetic again so quickly. See, I told you they were fine. These guys never learn. That doesn't give you a reason for corporal punishment. I don't know what. Wait, I don't know about your last school, but please reframe that here. You have any better ideas because nothing else works on them they're people too if you talk to them they will understand may sensei was standing up for us she was our new goddess we'd never had such a sexy teacher backing us up before i would love to have her trample on me i love how he looks away How's a she? Don't start saying perverted things all of a sudden. Kind, gentle teacher you adore goes out of her way to trample on you. That's the spirit. I feel you, Dongo. Do you? I want her to verbally abuse me with that lovely voice. I want her to scream. You got rotten out. You rotten apple. Dude, this is so much prison school. If you ever seen prison school. You guys are sick. What are you guys talking about? Now you, wait, now you can see what I mean. They won't listen to you. That's not true. What if you talk to them? They will understand. You must talk to them until they do so. That would be ideal, yes, but you don't understand, Buka Sensei. What don't I understand? They understand that if they do something wrong, they'll be hit. They still did something to justify those consequences. It's like a promise between us. So fulfilling my promise to hit them is for their sake as well. I'm still opposed to corporal punishment. They're students, not animals. Uh, I wouldn't hit them if they were animals. I hit them because they're people. Wait, what? Yamagami Sensei suddenly stops being a blight. He had a bad habit of becoming rougher with his toe and the more he grew sick of something. 
two of them were staring at each wait, staring each other down. It looked like sparks were flying between their eyes. That's my wife. She doesn't take crap from anybody, said Oppo. She's kind of scary, said Peter. Abuka Sensei was the first to look away. But Abuka Sensei's first look away. Fine. Either way, I'm taking them to the nurse's office. They can lick those wounds and be fine. Can you stand? I'll lead you to the nurse's office. She ignored Damagami, Sensei, and held out her hand to us. When I grabbed her hand, I caught a whiff of a what a whiff of pleasant smell that must have been her perfume. Come on, let's go. Oh, forget about Haruka. Wait, let me help you. Boys, behave yourselves, okay? Right, Let's get going. Even the nurse's office was nicer than at our old school. It was clean and calming. I guess this is how they're supposed to. Ooh, I guess this is how they're supposed to be. You know, I think it's only time. What I think it's the only time I ever imagined going to the nurse's office was for a nap. Guys, this bell. Oh, look, this bed smells like girls. Apo suddenly dived onto the bed. He was panting as he rubbed his face into the pillow. Dude, behave. Seriously. Kid has no chill. All the girls were watching him. Okay, we'll treat you. Please sit down. I think we're. Wait, I think all we can do is put ice on it, though. The ice pack should be over there. I think we only have two of them. So we'll have to put some ice in bags for them. <laughs> Funny face girl. There you are, Buka Sensei. Another girl entered the nurse's office. From the neck down. What? From the neck down, she had a great body, but her face looked funny. And that, in the laughing sense, she was glaring at us too. Hello, Busa San, Busa Chan, Busa Chan. Can't read that. Um, how can I help you? I see her name is Busa Chan. Can you come with us, please? This is disgusting. What's so gross that you need a teacher? Holy disgusting. Just follow me. Mrs. was trying to drag Mei Sensei out of the room. Okay, okay, just give me a second. She turned around and her face was clearly apologetic. Sorry, boys, but I have to take care of this. I'll be right back, okay? Cool it off with some ice while I'm gone. Don't worry, we'll be fine. We're fine. Take your time. Moron, we want her back as soon as possible. Sensei! <laughs> Sensei, it gets lonely without you. Please come back soon. Okay, I'll promise I'll be back as soon as possible. Arzura? Azura-san, please take care of them. Don't worry. Take good care of them. Hold on, Haruka-chan. You girls should come too. I think it might have to do with you too. Us too? Look, dude, look at her face. It's like she... With a weird looking money pouch. Okay, tell us what's going on. I can't say it here. She shot us a nasty glance as she said that. Yes, yes, I get it. Okay, boys, we'll be back soon. Sorry, Kazushikun. Kazushikun, sorry. <clears throat> Everyone left with Usin, Usan. I don't know how to say her name. Um, only us guys were left here. What the hell was that? Was that thing on the same side as the sign chasing after us earlier? Probably. 
genre wise, I say she's the ugly friend. <laughs> Face looks like it was carved left handed and blind. I wonder what happened. She gave us a frigid stare before she left. She must be what? She must be from the same planet as you, Oppo. You're both just as round. I don't get that. I don't even joke about that. I certainly didn't come all the way to spend some time with someone like her. That would be funny if you did. i will be very coincidental. That's the guy who claimed the principal when he landed. <laughs> But I now know what a true woman is, a bukame. Wait, what? Ibukame, my goddess. Ibuka sensei, huh? She certainly does have a mature charm. She really smells good too. What? You smelled my mei? <laughs> you already calling her? Wait, you're already calling her mei? Whatever, I have this. He took out a pair of women's underwear from his pocket. They were a really sexy pair, too. Are those see-through? What the hell? Where'd you get those from? Wait, where'd you get those? Destiny delivered it into my hand, onto my hands. Fire, you stole them, didn't you? You guys, too? Look at Pierre. Both of them took their heads in disagreement. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> You know I'm not interested in clean underwear on the girl. Wait, on the girl is the way to go. I told him not to do it. So he says, I know you sipped what slipped a pair of knee socks into your pockets. Nope. Are you serious? Why socks? <laughs> they were so small and really cute. The one point strawberry what, the one point strawberries set them off and the slight stain behind the knee? Hey, 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 keep your perversion to uh, normal fetishes. Hey, May. Dude's going crazy. Oppo, look at his freaking face. Oh, he looks like a freaking hippo. Uh, Oppo was writhing on the bed as he pressed the panties against his mouth. Oh, gosh. Hey, keep it down. You're gonna get caught. <laughs> oh man. I had the panties to his nose and was too intoxicated with them to listen to me. Hey, listen to me. You're not supposed to eat that. What? Here, I'll give you your own pair, Kazushi. Now put them on your head. Oh snap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Anyways. Don't do that to me. Now cut it out. We look like total perverts right now. Wow, those look good on you, Kazushi. Stop it. That's weird. You guys look all over. Wait, looked everywhere, right? I'm telling you, they disappeared as soon as those boys got here. Oh shit. <laughs> I knew what his name took them. It was too late. The door swung open and the girls poured in. Look at the face she's making. I, I like how she incorporates her hands. To her astonishment. Uh, their eyes fell right on Oppo, happily toying with his panties on the bed and me with the pair over my head. Uh, you're gonna get it now. What the? Wow, Kazushi, I didn't know you were into that. Yes, no. No, I can explain. Yeah, those are raised panties. She pointed to the pair I was wearing on my, my head. Huh? Ray. The funny faced girl kept shouting as we froze. Ray Ray, I found them, your favorite pair. Oh shit. <laughs> Big ass girl. 
A man. A beast. She's barely a primate, right? She must be the PE teacher or some kind of cosplayer. She reminds me of the statue of Atlas I saw at the museum. In a museum. Mm -hmm. No. Everyone watch out. Her big ass is going to destroy someone. <laughs> your ears. Cover your ears. Our ears. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Her screams, or should I say war cry, rang through the entire school. The other students would report uh, finding dead birds on the streets for days afterwards. Man, her hands are so freaking weird. Like, her screams went on forever. This is terrible. What a terrible existence is. Wait, wait, what, what, what terrible? Wait, what's terrible is your very exist. Gear bolts to cover Apple's mouth. We didn't want to find out how much worse this could get before we let him finish. Wait, what the fuck? I can't read right now. If we let him finish. I'm one of my favorites. Am I wearing yours then? Yes, I worked hard to save up for and order them. Oops, I'm very sorry. I took them off as fast as possible. It was already too late though. Oh shit, look at her face. Look at the face. Look at that face. <laughs> look at that face. Can't believe you put a girl's panties on your head. What kind of sick thoughts are going through your mind? Pervert. Uh, no, I could. Wait, what? I just couldn't stop them. Wait, what? No, I just couldn't stop him. You might not believe me, but... Of course, we won't believe you, Sensei. I told you it was them. Say something to them. Yes. Well, hmm. He was lost in thought for a couple of seconds before she spoke. Otomachan, was it? Listen. Underwear. Wait, what? Otomachan. Listen, wait. Rotomagoon, was it? Listen, your underwear is designed to be worn around your waist, not on your head. That's not the point. This is a crime. They stole our underwear. She's lying. She has to be lying. These panties are yours. How the hell could they fit you? Wait, what? How the hell can you fit into this tiny strip of cloth? Compared the girl to the underwear. And those are hers. No mistake. Every lady wants a pair. To wear what wants a sexy pair to wear on a date? Her special date underwear? Hold it. You're a date? Uh, Ray, don't cry. I know a pervert has your panties in his mouth, but oh gosh, loving your mouth. I even had a chance to wash him. Wait, I haven't even had a chance to. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> his face turned pale as soon as he heard that. Yeah. He's throwing up again. <laughs> in the sink, in the sink. <laughs> you liar, don't pull that shit. What do you need it? Wait, what? What do you need date underwear for? Why would you wear these? Karate? Judo? Wrestling? Don't yell while you're puking. <laughs> you're so mean. Why are you saying that? What did I do to you? She was in tears. Unlike her looks, she was a really sensitive girl. I think we're completely bad guys here. Why are you crying? That doesn't fit you at all. No, I had enough. She went past being upset with uh, hatred towards uh, Wait, what? With us towards hatred. I think you should give them back to her, Oppo. Dongo's right. Give them back to her. Here you go. Or maybe this is gonna be Apo's girlfriend, I don't know. Apo gave the big girl back her underwear. She took one look at the underwear and started streaming with tears again. He stained my panties. 
<laughs> what? What did you do? What did you do to raise panties? Wait. What? You didn't possibly wrap these around and jerk? What? Oh. Gross. Oh no. Thank god I didn't. That thing was already... Ugh, I like those things. Scumbag, I hope you die. Yeah. Can't wear them anymore. What are you going to do about this? Screw that. If I'd known they were yours, I wouldn't have done anything to them. <laughs> Apo is starting to lose it. Ah, impudent thief. Rest them, Sensei. Now, boys, your prank went too far this time. This is a crime, you know. Boys, you're including me. You were wearing them. Oh, shit. Oh, goodness. Okay, no. I've never been more embarrassed in my entire life and by complete strangers. She went feral, rampaging like an upset mother, bearing tears apart her own panties. She's not human. This is bad. The only other person- wait, what? The only other person her size was terrified too. This reminds me of a show. I don't know why. The girl- the, the glass- uh, wait, the glass in the window shook. Girls all covered their ears as she screamed. Unforgivable, unforgivable, unforgivable. This is unforgivable. Calm down. You look so much prettier when you're happy. Nice try, Oppo. Huh? Oh shit. She went Super Saiyan. Ah! Wow, she sent Oppo flying. She just sent two guys into orbit. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing next is Dongo. Daigo. I go. Why me? Ha 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 ha. I can't take this. Don't cry, Ray. Accidents happen. You think they're still even alive? They're even still alive. Guess the nurse's office didn't do anything for them. Well, it might be tough teaching. Ooh, it might be tough teaching these boys. Wait, ooh, I'm reading this wrong. It might be tough teaching boys. I hope I'm cut out for it. You idiots! He was so livid that he didn't even have the energy to punch us. That's alright, you don't have to say anything. We feel terrible already. This time. I'm sorry. No dinner for you tonight. Yeah? How cruel. The tuna. The mountain produce. You guys better be went back here later with apology letters and be thankful that all, we what be thankful that you all face. Okay. Yes, sir. No dinner. That was rough. This is what they call social punishment. but all the girls kept their distance and whispered as we passed through the hall corridors. Those are the underwear thieves. Gross. Right? I heard they were even... What? I heard they even when they were... What? What? I heard they... Even when through the... Oh, they even went through the trash cans by the toilet. That's so perverted. You gotta be careful. They might be trying... Uh, they might try to sneak into our rooms at night. I heard they managed to get some of us pregnant already. How is that even possible? 
I don't even have the strength to respond to them. He was right. His voice was so hollow. They say that rumors grow, but once this one spreads like wild... What? But this one spreads like wildfire and grew even worse. No one was willing to come near us or even make eye contact. Excuse me there. Wait, excuse me, you there. Which way is to the men's bathroom? They often ignored us. Most of them ran away from us. They seem to think that we're talking. Wait, that we're just talking to us. What? They seem to think that just talking to us would get them pregnant. Oh, come on. How are you supposed to pick up chicks like this? That's not gonna happen for a while. The girls looked at me like I was a filthy... Wait, like... Like I was filthy just when I walked down the hallway. Finally, I understood what it felt like to be the kid everyone picked on. What are we gonna do now? Nango's voice was full of anxiety. He was actually a very sensitive guy. He was already worried about his life here. Don't worry so much. Things were just... What? Things were just as bad as when we started at our last school. Yeah, that's true. Things couldn't have gotten any worse than that. But we've pulled through somehow. This is nothing compared to that. You're right. We're going to be fine. Let's keep our heads up and explore our new surroundings. That's right. We should find the important spots now while we can. Yeah, we haven't even seen our dorm yet. Let's go see what our dorm room's gonna be like. Wait, what, wait, what, what our room's gonna be like, sorry. Right, it might be really extravagant too. Speaking of our dorm room, dorm where is it? None of us knew. I bet she'd know. Uh-oh. Another one ran away. I didn't even say anything. Who the hell would ask you? Pig, die. Perish. Apo flipped, flipped her off. The girl gave him... The girls gave him an even sharper... What? The girls gave him even sharper looks than before. Someone threw a rock. Oh, ouch. Hey, don't throw rocks, got it? I knew it. It wasn't going to work. Here? You should have never transferred to a girl's school. Don't get depressed so soon. Yeah, let's not cause a she. We were completely treated as the away team. Everyone, stop it. Everybody, stop it. Haruka's strong voice filled the hall. That's enough speaking behind their backs. If you have something to say to the boys, say it to their faces. Oh, uh oh, but we're gonna have like a lot of just stuff, like just shit, right on us. Uh, Haruka stood in front of us and glared accusingly at the students. He was just like a hero of justice. Definitely not the same as my first impression. Hey. Hey, who is she? Hey. Haruya, what the heck? Aranyan, is that right? Two students came forward from the crowd. Hey, Sakura and Rinchan. Oh, wait, who's Rinchan? They must know each other. Oh, those girls are pretty cute. Girls' schools are full of pretty women. Are you sure? Okay, are you sure? I think they're lacking a little something. For us to be specific. They're just fine the way they are. No, they weren't super beauties. They were pretty enough. Wait, no, they weren't super beauties, but they were pretty enough. Just the type of girls who would be popular with the guys. Aruyan, right? You shouldn't whisper behind their backs. Yeah, I understand your feelings, but not all the boys are perverted, right? Huh, only a few of them are perverted. 
So she Sakura and one on the left's written. Oh, how could we be them? Oh, could we be them in question? For an instant, everything froze. Then they suddenly erupted in chatter. Is that true? Kazushi, you dumbass. Don't be honest about that. <laughs> He's right. You're way too honest. She pointed at me and started laughing. She was cheer She was a cheerful girl. Anyways, I know you're all unsure about the sudden changes, but no more speaking behind their backs. Wait, behind each other's backs, okay? If you have any worries or anything you'd like to say, let me know. I'm here to listen. Her tone was kind and gentle. Everyone there began to relax. The crowd dispersed before we knew it. You, I was worried for a minute. I bet that was rough. Haruko was very friendly and in talking to us. What? Haruko is very friendly in talking to us. The other girl, Ren, was still hiding behind Sakura. She was bigger than Sakura, though, so she wasn't hidden at all. We girls are pretty scary in a pack, aren't we? You're right, it was scary when they had us surrounded. Right? So, it's best not to anger them. Those rumors have already spread. Girls love to gossip. Rumors spread instantly. Yep, I heard it too. They grow pretty big since they started. They grew. Is it true that one of you wore a pair of underwear on his head? Oh, that was Kazushi, this guy. Really? Well, guys, we'll continue this little conversation in the next part. Bye.